It's time to step away from the music for a moment and into the mind of the high school coaches and players for our local school. Here is Caleb Burgraff with a look at high school sports through the eyes of the men and women who take to the field or the court each and every night. Caleb Burgraff joined here with Aaron Torgerson from the Soda Springs track and field team. And Aaron, you guys just got done with your first good weather meet, I guess the best way to say it, of the year at American Falls. Now that you guys have that meet under your belt and got to meet with a couple more teams in it under your belt, what were your thoughts on the way that you performed as well as the team? Well, I think that everybody, the entire team as a whole, did a great job at American Falls. I mean, the weather was near perfect and everybody was on the top of their game. So this meet, I think, really provided a starting point for the rest of the team and myself that we can improve our times from here and we have a great place to know where we stand and to know where we need to go. For yourself, you set a couple of PRs during that one, particular in the 300 hurdles. What was it like this early in the year to be able to put that much time off of what your re old record was? It was really nice to be able to get some PRs and last year I didn't really improve that much. So knowing that this year it'll be a lot better and I'll be able to get quite a few more PRs in and work hard and get things done. It's an amazing feeling. Now the hurdles, you do the 110 and the 300. Those aren't necessarily easy events to do. And in fact, when you talk about the jumping and the height of the hurdles as well, what made you decide you wanted to go into that instead of doing just more of the regular sprinting or even the long distance? Well, I actually started doing hurdles when I was in middle school. And the reason I started them because they were different from the usual running races. I love running, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot more difficult and I find it a lot more exhilarating and entertaining when you have to push yourself harder to go over an obstacle rather than just go for a distance. How do you adjust when you go from something like the 400 meter race to doing the hurdles or vice versa? It's actually relatively similar. The only difference with the hurdles is you really have to watch your step count because if you get off on your steps, then you're going down. We'll look at a couple more questions really quick. This week, you guys get a home meet. How excited are you to have the home meet and actually have good weather coming up for the home meet as well? I am extremely excited for the home meet. I'm not sure the good weather will last, but I'm hoping beyond hopes that it does. Having a home meet here, we have a lot of more support when you have a home meet. So I feel like me and the rest of the team will be able to push ourselves even harder than we did in American Falls. We'll wrap it all up with this. And that's every kid wants to have a goal or something to reach for once they get towards that district tournament and the state tournament after that. Have you set any goals for yourself in the three events that you run? Yeah, I've definitely set some goals for myself. I have goals in practice, goals at races, and goals for the end of the year. By the end of the year, I want to be about two or three seconds off in the 300s and in the 100 meter hurdles. And I'm confident that if I work hard at every practice, I'll be able to do that. Well, Aaron, thank you so much for the time. Good luck as you continue to work towards those goals. And hopefully we'll be talking about you being one of the state qualifiers when it rolls around. Uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining us for this look into our local high school sports. If you missed part of this interview, you'll find an archived recording at mylocalradio.com. And don't forget, you can watch every play of every game we broadcast once again at mylocalradio.com.